Wild hogs are an excellent source of meat as long as you cook them thoroughly. Let's see how that pig meat tastes. How's mm -hmm. wild pig meat tasting? Good. Is it? Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? Mm, chicken. What? All that way to hunt for chicken? <laughs> well, it doesn't taste like anything but pig meat. Oh, okay. Wild pig meat. And I don't feel guilty when I choose the best cuts of meat and leave the rest in the woods because other wildlife benefits when they discover the scrap piles. I've personally seen hogs with litters of a dozen piglets and they can have up to three litters per year. It's insane. Wild hogs are also fun to hunt, especially with a bow because they have an excellent sense of smell and decent hearing. Their vision is very poor, so you can stalk more aggressively. But most importantly, they're everywhere. If you go into remote woods down south, you'll have tons of opportunities, even if you make a few mistakes and blow a bunch of hunts. It's good practice. This week I joined some amazing guys in Arkansas for a deer and wild hog outdoor hunting adventure. This is Robert Sykes. He owns an excellent company called Keto Savage and he invented the Keto Brick. It's like a protein bar but larger, a brick, and the ingredients are all exceptional keto ingredients with no nonsense. I use them all the time personally for keto lunches, especially when I hunt, ironically. This is Mike Munzel. I've never met Mike before this trip, but I've always enjoyed his Instagram page, and I was impressed how intelligent he is on a wide range of health topics, and I'm definitely planning to listen to his podcast, which is called High Intensity Health. This is my good friend Danny Vega. Everybody loves Danny. Dude, it's good to be back, bro. Yeah, man. You know, you get Anthony and Robert together, and then these crazy things happen. <laughs> Like, I am not surprised. Wow, that looks good, man. He's basically a poster child keto athlete with a positive, high energy vibe, insane muscle mass, despite having a fasted blood sugar around 50. And like Mike, Danny has an excellent education and knowledge in nutrition and health optimization. You should definitely check out Danny's Instagram page as well. Finally, we've got Brandon Scott. At one time, Brandon was 330 pounds, and now look at him. He's a living example of how sustainable a ketogenic diet is, especially for people that are literally addicted to carbs, which is most people, honestly. Try to get off carbs for a week. You'll see how addictive they truly are. It's like a smoker getting off cigs. Anyway, like Robert and myself, I'd also say Brandon is a highly expert hunter, and one of the coolest toys he brought on this trip is a heat-seeking thermal night vision rifle scope. I was super impressed. I'll come back to that in a minute, but it was impressive, especially compared to my own infrared night vision scope. I mean, you could easily pick out deer 300 yards away and they would light up white. And even rabbits and armadillos and possums and coons, really easy to see in pitch black woods. Amazing. Now from this single week, I had about three stories. Number one, why I started packing a 9mm handgun for self-defense. Number two, why a 9mm handgun for self-defense is useless. And number three, how to disperse leftover hog scraps for the wildlife. So let's jump in. <clears throat> so I'm at the Bill Clinton airport, Little Rock. My buddy's coming to pick me up here. Got my uh, bow case, which I was glad to see actually got through the flight. We've got so much stuff packed into this bow case, it's amazing. It's just jammed full of camera gear and my drone is in there. It's gonna be a fun trip, I am looking forward to this. <laughs> so here I am at camp. It's in the 30s. The temperature's in the 30s, but then it goes up to like 65 tomorrow. We already took a drive around, put some corn out for the wild pigs. It's 
pretty nice place. Cooking some steaks up, some ribeyes. Woo! Those are sizzling. So Robert's going out to pick up Danny. He's a little bit lost. Before I got interrupted because because uh, Robert was there to pick me up and he drove right past me at the airport. So obviously I had to jump off really quick, jump off the camera, stop talking to you and go over and get my ride from the airport. So here's the cabin. It's pretty funny in, in, in the south down here, they do this thing where if you miss a shot at a deer, they cut off a piece of your clothing. Looks to be shirts. <laughs> Not as familiar with that tradition in Minnesota, but it's apparently what they do here. Check out the nice mounts. They definitely have smaller antlers down here uh, in in Arkansas, but you know, respect a couple of respectable bucks. Got a lot of bunk beds, just like any other deer camp, which is cool. <clears throat> That's the key. You know, you just need a lot of beds. It's a place to stay. You don't spend time in the house. It's all about getting outdoors. Down here you can actually shoot three deer, which is pretty funny. And basically tomorrow, if we don't get any deer, tomorrow we stop eating until we shoot a deer. So we're, we're hopefully going to get a deer or a hog. Of course, if we get a hog, we can eat it. That's our initial fasting rule. We got to be successful hunters. And he has over 3,000 acres. So, I mean, this is a massive property. The deer are super unpressured. But as we were driving out here, he was telling me, Robert, who's uh, the one that his family owns the property, he was telling me that they allow dog hunting here in Arkansas, which is super ridiculous. I can't stand running deer with dogs, hunting deer with dogs, but they allow it, people do it. And he said oftentimes people would walk the property of this area, and then they'll allow the dogs to run into the property. Uh, so the deer get a little bit pressured. Dude, we might have to, Danny and I might have to hop out, eh? This stuff is really, it's like oil. It's like quicksand. No, it's grease. It's like greasy. Nice job. Yeah, man. Thanks. Driving around the entire property took about two hours, and we did this a couple times, and we got a pretty good sense of where the, the hogs were, so that's where we keyed in on. Dude, I could literally smell the pigs. Yeah. Smells like pigs to me too. Huh? Pigs smell like. Yeah, I smell pigs. I smell wild hogs. You smell it too? Oh yeah. For the first couple days, it was really challenging hunting. The leaves were like cornflakes. There was zero wind. It would kind of swirl around. I was doing squirrel feet, trying to sound like squirrels walking around the leaves to sneak up on hogs, and I just wasn't having any luck. Thankfully, Brandon was sitting over one of the feeders, one of the corn feeders, and he got into a couple hogs. Bro, <laughs> just passed six shots. Yeah. Probably 30 or 40 fucking pigs. Really? It's stupid. And so, <laughs> right after the second shot, <clears throat> dropped that the uh, other boar. 
that same group came up, but the sounder stopped them. Done. She went, and they hauled ass. Oh. They smelled that boar that's laying there. Uh -huh. nice. So they come back again. She did the same thing. I'm watching nothing but black dots all over the place. Some big ones, nice. small ones. Perfect headshot. Wow. Heck yeah. When we take that one back, I'll show you the shield. Your bullet hits that and it's not a powerful round. It's going to, all the energy is going to soak here and it's going to haul ass. That's why you always Let's shoot. Let's show, show it one more time. Right there. So it's cartilage wow, shield. That is solid. Yeah. Yep. And it gets thicker. Yep. Dang, looks like a Russian. Whew. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, those tusks are beautiful. Look, come, come at them right here. Yeah, they actually bash their tusks on rocks. Mm. A lot of them that I've shot, they had tusks that were sort of like this, but they'd be ground down. Wow. Yeah. This is a nasty one, man. These are sharp. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if that thing came charging at you, you would uh, you get, get pretty effed up. You could get shredded up pretty bad, yeah. Where'd you hit it? Right. Is that it? supposed to hit it somewhere. Oh, right right there, there, bro. Wow. Oh. Blood dripping out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't see anything this morning. And again, I think it's because there was so much activity on that feeder last night because Brandon shot two last night on the feeder. So what was funny is I sat there, didn't see anything. Brandon got up and walked in the woods trail that I was hunting yesterday and he sees a monster hog and shoots it. Two shots, he heard two shots go off. He's coming to pick me up right now. I'm gonna go take a look at this monster hog he got. It sounds amazing, it sounds impressive. <laughs> he's a giant, bro! <laughs> dude. He's f***ing easy 400 pounds, dude. I can't wait, man. <laughs> 400, dude, no one's I'm all cloud nine. I was hooping and screaming in the woods. I'm oh, like, yeah. woo! <laughs> bro, he's f***ing huge. <laughs> man, that's awesome. <laughs> he got up right in front of me. He was in the yeah. swamp, and I'm like, that looks like a good spot. And I took two more steps, he takes off. Get him on the run? Yeah, he stops. I'm like, pow! And he just starts hauling ass. I knew he's hitting. I was like, I was like, every chance I got, I'll squeeze the trigger. And I got up on the knoll and I'm scanning there. I see he's white. And yeah. so my last shot, I said, put another one in his head. So fuck, nice. I he's, Dude, he's f***ing massive. Nice, man. Congrats. Holy Jeez, dude. <laughs> I'm never going back to Georgia again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're feeding them well. They're eating well out here. Oh, my God. Does he have tusks? Yes. Dang, dude. Where's he at? I don't know. Let me get my rid of my backpack and phone. <laughs> All right. Are they even in here? Bro, I just saw the biggest hog in my like triple the size of that one. Dude, get out of here. None, yeah. of, us, none of us can move it. I can't budge him. Get, it's gonna take all here. five of us. Dude, I, I can't He's a giant, bro. <laughs> I'm in the woods after he's down. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> screaming, hyped up his <laughs> dude. He, dude, he is <laughs> mad, bro. I didn't know he was big at all. How far did you hit him from? 30 yards. Wow. <laughs> That is freaking off. We Mike just got and... back together, yeah, we're... and then they they literally just went back out, and I was just gonna cook breakfast. Okay, that cool. shit's done, bro. Cool, dude. God, oh, oh my, you have no idea. Let's eat it. Like that. That's bacon, uh, nice. bacon, eggs, and Kobe cheese. <laughs>
right here. Bro, look at him from over here. Bro. Ugly. Dang, dude, that is dude. much bigger than the last one. Much Dang. bigger, dude. Holy. Jeez. <laughs> sharp again, man. They're sharp out here. What do you think? These tusks are sharp out here in these parts. So this is where the... Uh, They're so dense, aren't yeah, they? He might be more than 400 oh, Danny, pounds. Danny can oh. roll. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> think he's more than 400 pounds? Look at the tusk over here. That's oh, a big ass. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. That one crawls back. Yes. <laughs> that's so cool. So cool to see things like that. Like, <laughs> like when you see a deer with a drop time. Like, I can't, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Told you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's a genetic variant, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I know. It's gonna fly off, so it, it would have to. Be, it's it got to be like yeah, under his belly, I think. Give her a try. Yeah, Just watch some tusks, man. If there's any indication the tusks are. It'll work for a little bit. Somehow. It'll work for a minute. Here, let me get you guys on film. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Is it? Super wide is it record? Okay, cool. Vegans when we don't shoot anything. This is what happens when you don't kill kill something. You get to make the jalapeno bubble. <laughs> once you uh, once you gut these, mm -hmm. you um, just throw in some uh, cream cheese yeah. inside each one, and and like so you take the cream cheese, you know, and then you put it inside. You put put it like this, and then this bacon wrap them. Yeah, that's the glue that holds them together. You bake and wrap them, <laughs> yeah. and then you could stick like a toothpick or something in them to hold them together. Sure. Wild pig meat. It's cooked perfectly, but it's a little tough. <laughs> but it tastes amazing. It tastes excellent. Definitely needed to marinate it a little bit, which we didn't do, but nothing beats fresh meat, right, Danny? That's right. <laughs> I got a little bit of fat on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fat's good. It is. <clears throat> A little bit of bacon. Fantastic. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little chewy, but about. very juicy. Mm -hmm. Thing was huge, man. <laughs> yeah.